It is April 14th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. We're living through a development tooling space race right now, and GitHub Copilot is just the tip of the rocket. There's a long shaft of other tools competing in the space that's growing girthier every day, all of which are seeded by massive foundational models. Yesterday, Amazon Web Services released a new code generation tool called Code Whisperer, and unlike its biggest competitor, Copilot, which is powered by Microsoft and OpenAI, it's 100% free for everybody. That's a huge deal. Last week, I made a big mistake by poking the AWS US bear with this video, but this week it comes back and totally redeems itself. It has some very cool unique features, and today we'll compare it head-to-head -head with Copilot, but that's not everything AWS just announced. They also just launched web service number 69,421 called Bedrock. It allows developers to access large foundational models on AWS infrastructure, making it possible for the average dude who doesn't own a pile of GPUs to build highly customized AI applications. It has image models like Stability AI's Stable Diffusion, and LLMs like AI20 one Labs Jurassic models. In addition, AWS also announced two of its own foundational models for both text and image processing called Titan. What's crazy for image models is that all you need to do to build something custom is upload some labeled images to S3. Like, say you want to make fashion models obsolete. Jesse, we need to produce more Balenciaga. You might be able to get the job done with as few as 20 images. And if that weren't crazy enough, AWS also made its new ML training EC2 instances generally available, which are based on Inferentia chips. These are custom-built chips that can train machine learning models at about 50% of the normal cost on EC2. And that means you could train your own LLM from scratch for only $5 million instead of $10 million. Platforms like Cohere and Hugging Face are already using this behind the scenes. But let's get back to Code Whisperer, which you can use for free right now. First, install the VS Code or JetBrains extension, then enable it by registering Open up a code file, then hit Option C to generate some code. You can also open the extension options here and enable auto suggestions, which will generate code as you go. I'm currently running it in a Next.js project, and it seems to do a pretty good job of understanding the context of the project. Like here, it exported a default function component, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And as you can see here, it generated perfect use effect code for me. Also, you can hit the arrow keys to get additional suggestions as needed. Compared to Copilot, I found that it usually doesn't suggest as much code. Like typically, it just goes line by line. Whereas as in Copilot, it might suggest 50 lines of code at one time. This is both a good and a bad thing, because sometimes Copilot just recommends a bunch of annoying nonsense, but it can also be very useful when you have a lot of boilerplate, like an HTML form. But most importantly, I want to make sure this thing can write regular expressions. It works great for simple patterns like phone numbers, but becomes harder to prompt as the pattern gets more complex. Still extremely useful though. I also wanted to see if this thing could write unit tests, so I created a testing file, and no joke, it wrote an Angular component for some reason. I think it's trying to tell me something. It kind of failed there, but it also also does some really cool things that GitHub Copilot doesn't. Like for one, it will give you a reference to the code in the training data when producing its own code. It's awesome to have that transparency, and also makes it less likely that you accidentally steal some code and then use it in ways you're not allowed to. The legal picture behind these tools is still very murky. There's a class action lawsuit against GitHub Copilot right now for being trained on billions of lines of public code without providing credit. In addition, stock image supplier Getty Images is suing Stability API for its art generation tools. It's only a matter of time before the lawyers ruin AI for everybody, so enjoy it while it lasts. Another cool feature of Code Whisperer, though, is security scans. You get 50 of these per month, and they can check web applications for OWASP issues, like if your site's vulnerable to cross-site scripting, or if you're building your own shitcoin, they can also analyze smart contracts. And of course, it can point out how you're not using AWS properly. The bottom line here is that Code Whisperer might not be a game changer, but it's pretty close to being on par with Copilot, and most importantly, it's free. But this is only the beginning. If you were born before 2021, you might remember the days when AI couldn't even write code. You had to use these primitive tools like Google and Stack Overflow. This AI rocket is moving fast, but it hasn't climaxed yet. Maybe it'll go limp and disappoint us, or maybe it's about to plant the seed for the next generation of artificial general programmers. Only time will tell. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.